Good morning. Very fun night. We apologize for the things we said yesterday. But we don't. It's real. It's what everybody thinks. You can tell by my voice that I smoked a cigarette or two last night. I have that, uh, what's that shit girls like? The, the morning voice? You call a girl in the morning, hey babe. <laughs> <laughs> or you roll over to her, hey. You regretted everything we did last night, didn't you? <laughs> so I first woke up at like 7.30 and I came out here and Raph's eyes were creeping open and I'm like, I'm going back to bed, fuck this. And I went back to bed and I woke up again and it wasn't even 9 o'clock. We got some shows today, we got two of them. Weed themed shows, Comics on Chronic, I think one of them. The other one's in a dispensary. So I think we're going to get high later, like more than usual. Oh, there it You is. have it too. Yeah. Wow. I guess it's the lack of water. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is my humble abode for the next for the next day now. We have to leave tomorrow. But that means we're gonna have to take care of today. You know what I'm saying? Don't want any grounds in there. So we rinse. We're probably gonna wipe this guy out with for his coffee, but what the fuck? What are we paying for? I'm gonna rinse this out too. Now you don't measure it. You don't bother measuring. You don't measure. You just go like this. Let's clean this bad boy out a little bit. Again, nothing crazy. Just enough to get the grounds out. And if there was any burnt coffee on the bottom, which it doesn't look like there is. I don't have a pot like this in my house. I make mine cup by cup, because if I had a pot like this, I'd be dead of a heart attack already. You gotta get the water in the back. Make sure you get it on the electronic stuff, too. I went 25 years without a cigarette. You know that? I never once smoked a cigarette until a couple weeks ago when I went to New York. We're gonna get about five cups, I guess. I don't know. I don't go by that shit. I don't know if that's cups. I don't know what that is. Bad case of the dads. If you don't know what it is, look it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. You gotta keep keep clean. I'm gonna probably play some frisbee. Maybe take a dip. We'll see. It's a little cloudy out. Maybe the waters are rushing. We can go out and get swept to sea. And uh, this might be my last will and testament. I might become Captain Ahab after this. And hunt Moby Dick. Oh, you fuck up for the high look. That's what I want my career to be. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like bacon or something. Out there. The water looks calmer today, huh? Yeah. I ate very fast, and very sloppily, but it was good. And now my tummy's making the rumblings. And we gotta eat some shit before we get to our show. No one's with our shirt off, but we're at a beach fucking town. What is this? It doesn't even make dollars. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. I almost suggested we went back to that place But all they play is country music And I might kill myself while I eat their food So we might have to go somewhere else We're here at Woodstock 1969 <laughs> I will say though, overall, people are pretty nice around here Yeah In Maine in general, people yeah. are pretty nice it's always been sauce. It's never been gravy. Italian Americans, who are some of the worst people that exist on the planet. And I'm one of them, so I can say it. But I don't really lean into the culture like a lot of people do. But something that they do that infuriates me to no end is they call tomato sauce gravy. They call it gravy because they put meatballs and sausage and brajol and short rib in the sauce while it cooks. But I'll tell you right now, there's not an Italian word for, for gravy. There isn't. 
It's sugo di carne, which is meat sauce. It's just sauce. Bolognese, which is literally ground up lamb and veal and meat and beef in the tomato sauce, still called sauce. You're an idiot otherwise. And in fact, I don't even want you to subscribe. But your friends, have them subscribe. Or switch. Stop calling it gravy. Call it sauce. Then you can subscribe. Alright, we've made it. Back to the lair. Come on, Sonny. It's funny how a night of drinking has similar effects to aging. <laughs> Coming out here to this fucking <coughs> butt fuck rooms. I think the first one we're doing today, the comics on Chronic, is like in, it's like outside. It's not even at a venue. So, I hope part of that show is us having to smoke weed and then go up there and try to tell our jokes. I feel like that'd be fun. Uh, but, we're gonna find out. And those will be the last two. Those will be the last two shows of the weekend. Stay tuned to see what those look like. Turn it the fuck off. I gotta jerk off now. Wearing a similar outfit that I did for the shows on Friday. Different pair of jeans, same shoes. White shirt. No beetles on it this time. Uh, these steps are gonna be iconic for this series. <laughs> yeah, but you also want to try new things at open mics because the stakes are lower. Like, you know, you're at an open mic, anybody can do it, you're probably at a bar, most of the people sitting there are comics, so they get that you're trying to work on stuff and figure out what's funny. But you need to be able to do both. Do new things, but also work on stuff that is solid. Like my best, some of my best bits I've been doing for the for a year, you know. Third and final attempt. Are you the baby? All oh, right. I had no idea you had a cameraman with you. Wow, that's even worse. Subpar. Wow, wow. One more time. For your host, Mr. Fred Durst. <laughs> right? Kind of looks like him. A little bit. Looks fine. <laughs> Let me get this fucking thing off. How are we doing, guys? This is lovely. This is good. You guys see that? Uh, the, like earlier, there was a little kid looking out the window at all of us. <laughs> Imagine the mom. Come on, kid. No. Get out of the window. <laughs> Those are the mentally ill. They. This. This is what they do. Let them be. <laughs> Can you please fuck my bitch, brother? I mean, you look great. You do. You look like you should be working on a, uh, on a cure for something. 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 I don't know what. Didn't charge it. All right, motherfuckers, I'm done. Thanks for playing along. Give it up. Give it up, Antonio Barbosa. I've spoken to you. So, Very good. Um, I got stoned before. Sure if you're here. We had a hell of a set at the last stop. I was so stoned. You guys can probably tell from earlier. But I'm back. We're back with Zen. We got one more show. Uh, my buddy came from out of state with his lady. So it'll be fun. Should be another fun show, I think. I don't know. We'll 
we'll see. <laughs> Hello, people. How you doing, guys? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. It's blur. Have you guys been? Have you been to Portland before? I never been. Oh, you live here. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be perfect. Why? Blow to this thing. The thing's serious. Wow. Don't, don't pollute the ocean. Thank you. I have no fucking clue. I was next. So. <laughs> ha. Yeah, no, it's cool. I don't know. I, uh, before I came to this, I did a weed show. I got real high. I smoked some dispensary weed. Got fucking stoned. Real stoned. But not so stoned that I was like, you know what, bro? We should make a museum about getting high. <laughs> and we need pot plants on the ceiling. Oh. And these are like stupid, right? Because all the dispensary weed is insane. You just get real high. They should say, uh, limonene, sativa type, stone as fuck. Stone as fuck. Stone as fuck. You can hear your beard hairs growing. You can hear your pores expanding. Stone as fuck. Cross the board. Have a good time at the festival. The festival's over for us. And uh yeah, that's it. Enough. Dirty shoes. <laughs> we did it folks. We made it to the end. And what a time we had. Some laughs shared, some highs uh created. Like actually getting high. It's getting real stoned is what I was trying to say. You can see the after effects, but it doesn't matter. We had a lot of fun here in Portland, Maine. I thank whoever the fuck chose me and chose all the other comics to uh, put some stuff together. There were a lot of venues, a lot of comedy. Um, I don't know, maybe I'd do it again. It was just expensive in general. But that's what shit is, you know. You go on a festival, it's almost like a, a vacation. But you get your word out, you go to different markets, you try your shit out. And that's what we did. We had a good time doing it. And now, the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. I don't know the next part of the song, that I'm certain. What are you going to get yourself into now? <laughs> Well, I think I'm gonna go get me a nice little piece of land over on the east side of Mississippi and live out the rest of my days watching the old Miss just stroll on by. Maybe, maybe buy myself a little steamboat. Live out my days drinking sweet tea on my porch. Thank you. Mm -hmm.